Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. My name is Romeo Willis Perea. I'm a senior at Jackson Liberty High School and vice president of, the, of Nation Among Nations at Jackson Liberty High School. Lead for Diversity is essential <coughs> to me because it truly opened my eyes up to the world around me. I had always known that not everybody had it easy and that life, you know, just was hard. <laughs> but, and you see, you see bad news on the TV all the time. And in a way I became desensitized to the negativity. But I, w I would have never guessed that the negative, the bad experiences that my peers have been through and hearing their stories in person at the summer retreat was a very different and emotional experience that I'll never forget. The most powerful lesson I learned at the summer retreat was to make it an I statement. Whenever recalling an experience or giving an opinion, Dr. Tyree would always remind us to make it an I statement. In other words, make it personal. Not speak for somebody else, not tell the story from somebody else's eyes. Don't use words like you, they, or we when it doesn't pertain to someone else. Whenever somebody was recalling an emotional experience, the impact of making it an I statement was almost immediate for me. For example, one person had talked about how they had a family member that had passed and while they were alive they took them for granted and had re later regretted it. So instead of saying something like you shouldn't take your family for granted, someone can say something like I shouldn't have taken my family for granted because you feel a lot more of the impact of your own words when you say it that way. Since returning to school, I've been motivated to get involved in, by serving my school and community around me. Part of this involvement will include the student-led diversity and inclusion organization, Nation Among Nations. Some of the some of the members of Nation Among Nations also attended the Lead for Diversity retreat this past summer. We recently had our second meeting of the school year and we'll be working towards unified goals using the tools and knowledge we have gained from Lead for Diversity. Uh, a few others, and I strongly recommend it, retreat to our peers because even after explaining it to the best of our ability it's truly one of those things that you have to be there to understand and appreciate. <laughs> Nation Among Nations goal is to spread our message to the school and community to positively impact others. My hope for the future of Lead for Diversity is to continue to do what it's already doing and positively impact the community. And uh, Everyone that had previously participated in the LFD summer retreat had, I had spoken to some of them about it and all of them loved their experience and wouldn't, wouldn't hesitate to do it again. And if there were any way to do this on a larger scale while providing the same quality treatment that I received, then I'd be all for that. Mm -hmm. I would like to take this time to thank the president and CEO, Elizabeth Williams Riley, and American Conference on Diversity for, for providing programs like Lead for Diversity as an outlet for diverse people to be themselves and grow together. I'd also like to thank Lead for Diversity and its sponsors for providing a great experience over the summer where I met some great individuals and shared great experiences. I look forward to working with you in the future. To Dr. Tyree of Lead for Diversity, I'd like to thank you for everything that you taught me and my peers while at the summer retreat and being a role model for us to look up to. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to Mr. Washington, the advisor of Nation Among Nations at Jackson Liberty High School, thank you for stepping up and providing guidance to all of us. I look forward to continue working with you as Vice President of Nation Among Nations. Sorry? And lastly, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank my mom, who is in attendance for us. Please stand up. Uh. <laughs> I'd like to thank her just for simply always supporting me and my siblings through, for doing anything that she can for us and always being here for us when she can and making all the sacrifices that she made throughout the years no matter what we've been through and i love you <laughs> thank you for your time today <laughs>